Page templates are a great way to speed up content creation in Confluence, but there's something we can do to make it even easier for folks to make useful content, and that's give them a button to push that automatically makes the page for them. Here, I'm going to show you how. Before we jump into Confluence Cloud Premium, I'll quickly explain what we're going to do. Instead of relying on someone to push a create button and then go find the right template, we're just going to insert a macro called create from template directly on a page. When someone clicks this button, it's going to automatically make a new page under the current one based on the template we pick and also pre-populate the name. This makes it even quicker and easier for someone to go in and make a new type of page for us. All we have to do is take a few minutes to configure the macro and then anyone who clicks that button can get to create new content. I use this trick quite a bit for very common things like policies or my own personal meeting notes so I don't have to spend time clicking around finding the right template. Let's jump into Confluence and I'll show you how it's done. Here we are in Confluence Cloud Premium and I'm on a page just called Meeting Notes. And you'll see right at the top, there's a button that says Create a New Meeting Note. And when I put my mouse over it, I get a preview of the Meeting Notes template. Now all I have to do to make a new Meeting Note is just click on this button and Confluence will make a brand new page with that template. I can see that it's been inserted under the parent exactly where I want it. And even better, the name has been automatically updated to include today's date. From here, I could just go and create my page as normal and then click publish whenever I'm done. So let me show you how it works. If I go in and edit this page, I'll see create a new meeting note. Now, if I click it even in the editor, it's gonna make a new page. So I wanna be very careful to click on this little tiny bar at the top and then click edit. And this will bring me to the edit screen for this macro. It's just called create from template and I give the button some text and I can call this whatever I want, make a new policy, add a new retrospective, whatever I need to create. Then I just have to pick the template I want it to use. Now it is alphabetized, but you'll notice that the list is pretty long, so it can be hard to find things. Next, I just figure out what the name of the page is, and I have three variables I can use, the current date, the current space, or the space key to automatically insert it into the name. That's how I added the name earlier. It's just meeting notes from the date. And then the space I want to create the page in. Typically, I have this set up to create the page in the same space, but you might have a central project management space and then create retrospectives in an engineering space with this button. Once I'm done, I'll just click save. And then my button is available. I'll publish or update the page. And now anyone who has edit access to the space can easily come in and make new pages. Again, this is a great way to speed up content creators because they just know, oh, go to the meeting notes page and make a new meeting note. It's identical to clicking create, creating a new page, digging through all the templates, finding the one you want, and then making the page. So while many people are comfortable with that process, you can make it much easier for your editors and creators to quickly spin up content. So that is one way to make it even easier for folks to make content. All you have to do is have an existing template and have a spot you want to insert it using the create from a template macro. I'm curious though how your team uses templates and if you found this useful, please drop me a comment down below letting me know the templates you use and other tricks that you have for making it easier for folks to use the system. Also, I'd appreciate if you can like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these again soon. Me again, thank you so much for watching that video. Check out more here and pop down into the description. I've got a blog with weekly content. I also have a lot of online learning on Atlassian stuff and project management. And if you need personalized training for you and your team, reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to get something set up for you. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again soon.